Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have another card for you guys using the Celebration Epic Celebrations. Uh, this one is using um, some of our embossing paste as well as our brush-o uh, powder and I've also done some heat embossing too. So let's go ahead and show you how I've created this. For our card base, I am using Dapper Denim. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is one of our 2016-18 in colors, and those will be retiring very soon. So if there's any of those colors that you absolutely love, you'll need to stock up on them because they will move very fastly, fast, as we know from our experience with in colors. Um, I have a layer that of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter. And then I have already, just to save us some time, I have stamped my um, images in Versamark and heat embossed them in white on top of the dapper denim, and then I fussy cut them out. Um, our sentiment I actually just punched with our one and a quarter inch circle punch. So that part will be done, um, but we will still be doing the brush show as well as the shimmery um, embossing paste. And then I have two circles that I used our layering circles for, a Whisper White and a Dapper Denim. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to bring in a piece of our grid paper. And um, our brush show crystals. These are a newer product to Stampin' Up. We have a set of five here. Um, we have... I'm going to just, they have special names. I'm going to say red, green, yellow, blue, and kind of an orange color. This powder is very, very fine. So when you order this, you do not want to open up your brush -o, um, container because it's so fine, it'll go everywhere. So the trick is use a thumbtack and just pop a hole into the, the center. You can kind of twist it around if you want it to release a little bit more. And then just put it back in when you're done. Um, so this is one set that you can purchase in our catalog. So what I've done is um, for the brush I specifically used um, the blue and then I added in a little bit of yellow um, to my background. So what I did was I sprinkled the brush and then I used our spritz. I have just put a little bit of water in here to give me um, that background look. So let's tap this. Hopefully you can see that powder. I'll bring in my yellow now. We'll add in some of that. Okay. Get my thumbtack. I'm actually going to do the same thing to my um, circle that I've die cut. I almost forgot to do that. Let's bring in some of the blue there as well. And then with the spritzer, you will notice, I mean, the water is what activates it, right? So the more water you put the more runny um, and wet look you're going to get. So it, with each spritz, it will change um, what your background looks like. And you want to keep it a little far away, unless you do want it really runny. Okay, so you can see my paper is starting to curl up. I'm going to bring in my heat tool and use my setting number one to kind of just dry this for us a little bit quicker for the video. And your paper will flatten out as it dries. Usually I'll just let this air dry, but for these purposes, I'm going to use my heat tool. I might have to pull this a little out of camera as my cord only goes so far. Okay, so now you can see I'm getting the opposite. It's curling up towards me as it dries. Okay, so I have our um, shimmery 
This is the Shimmery White Embossing Paste. This can be found in the catalog as well. Um, just a note, you will definitely want to keep it kind of in a uh, Ziploc bag so it does not dry out on you. Um, you want to use it quickly and then put it away. Um, I also have a mask here. This is the Brick Mask out of the set of masks in the annual catalog. Let me see. They are called um, Pattern Party Decorative Masks. So they come in a set. Let me pull these out. I can show you. Here's kind of a diamond pattern. Here are some clouds. Here's a big medallion and then the brick that we're going to use today. Okay, so I want my circle to get a little bit of this paste as well. So I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm just going to hold my circle in place. I'm just going to stick that there. And then I'm going to lay this mask over my Whisper White. And I'm actually not going to be, you know, too careful as to where it's going. And then I have a tray of water. So when you're using the paste, you do not want to let it dry and get hard. So I have a, a little pan of water here that has a touch of soap. Um, and I'm going to put my um, spatula as well as my mat straight into that water until we're done so I don't have to worry about it hardening up. Um, so the spatulas come in a set as well in the catalog. And then this shimmery white, it will come sealed. I've just taken off, you know, the sealed top. And you can see here the paste I used earlier has a little bit of blue tone to it. I'm going to close this up right away. A little goes a long way is what I found. Let me see. I'm thinking I might. And this will smudge with any powder that is left on here. Okay, so I'm going to get some on my um, circle as well as my base. So I'm kind of just rubbing it on an angle. Again, I don't need it to go everywhere, and it's definitely smearing um, the brush out. Okay, so you can see, I only took a little and I still have that much left. So I'm going to drop my knife into my container. I'm going to peel this off carefully, and you will see, there we go. Take my washi. I'm going to drop that mask in the water too and kind of just move it around a little bit. Well, let me lift this up for you guys. Can you see that? And there really is a lot of glitter to that shimmery look. So I'm going to again take my heat tool, I'm going to put it on one and just try to speed it up for us a bit. So cool. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to move my background piece of paper here. And I'm going to peel this circle up that I had the, the washi tape on. Let me take a look. I'm not sure how dry it is. I usually let it set up. And it gets very hard when it's completely dry. There's still some loose brush -o on there. And this would totally continue to activate if I added more water. So if you were like, oh, I want to, you know, put a little bit more. I don't like how it is in this corner. You could do that. And again, just let it dry. Okay. So we're going to take um, our circle here. We're going to adhere this to our dapper denim. Just like that. Flip that over on my surface. And I'm going to just pay attention, you know, to lining it up um, evenly with the other bricks. So it looks like it makes sense, you know, being there if that 
if that helps. All right, so we're going to give our dapper denim a nice crease. Okay, I'm going to add our Whisper White layer now. I'm going to put adhesive around all four corners because I just don't want it to pull up. I'm really enjoying playing with the brush show as well as the paste. I knew I would. I was a little concerned that it might be a little too messy for my, my taste, but to be honest, it isn't. As long as you have, you know, your little thing of water there, um, it's not a lot of cleanup. I mean, you're just rinsing it and letting it dry and dumping your, your bucket. Um, so it's really not that bad. Okay, so that goes about there. I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of this. I'm going to pop it up even a little, little more. I'm going to put four of those. Okay, so now with our pieces that I've already heat embossed, now again, I just stamp these images in the Versamark uh, ink pad onto the dapper denim, and then I used my white embossing powder with my heat tool um, to emboss those, and I like the white, I like embossing things in white even more so than I like the craft white, white um, ink pad because I feel like it's not always as bright of a white um, as that I that I like. So I like the heat embossing with the white better and I tend to do that a lot um, on the darker paper and it really just you know gives it a nice look. So I'm going to add a little fast fuse to the guitar here right along the arm and I'm going to stick my headphones kind of like that. Now I'll come back and add more adhesive to both of these. And I've been trimming out the center of the headphones with uh, an X-Acto knife. I just find that easy to do. Okay, so I think we'll, we'll tilt that. We'll stick that down. And then with our sentiment, I have a piece of our lemon lime ribbon. You know what? I'll put the name of the, the ribbon up on the screen. Oh, it's sitting right in front of me. This is the Lemon Lime Twist uh, Mini Striped Ribbon. And I'm just going to take a small piece here. I'll grab my ribbon scissors. I'm going to just snip that. And then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of our sentiment. And we're just going to lay that right in into the adhesive. Uh, add some more on top. I want it to be nice and sticky. I like to use the fast fuse because it's strong. And then I'm just going to add our sentiment right over there. And we will be done with our card. Isn't that cool? I love it. And I also like that with every project, it will be slightly different. Like you'll never have two of the same. Um, and you can mix up the colors to make new colors with the brush show. So I do hope you guys purchase some of today's products and create some of these cards yourself. Um, I will have a full supply list in the description of the video. And I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.